taking time to heal. When our, when our souls are feeling pain, we will overcome. We will overcome. Boy, oh boy. Humans, we will survive through this virus, through this absolute madness that surrounds us. And we look to the core and we see hope. We see love. We will overcome. Believe it. Be it. Act on it. Ching is poignant. The name of this gua is Unraveling. This is for the week of June 6, 2020. Unraveling, number 40. Above to shake and arouse, and below is the gorge, the test. And we are all walking over that. And the wisdom says, liberation. The heavens release rain, energy. And that has been held back. Obstacles are washed away. Set your intentions well, man. This is good advice. As we come through difficult times, we must set our intentions about what our process is, where we're going, and just what are we doing, man? What are we doing? The earth and her peoples Animals, plants, and minerals are in the process of release, releasing the old, the stuff that we have been sentimental about, or the things that were just so sticky that they wouldn't come off our fingers. Got stuck to the soles of our shoes, the quality and the quantity of energy that is now here on Earth. It's stuff, tough stuff right now, and it's coming directly from a rarely tapped universal force, a storehouse of energy that's always there, and now our intention is to tap on it, to carry us through difficult times. It is possible now to move all the old stuff out of the way, and doing that we see the possibilities of a new earth and a new way. But not just new, we see it as a revolutionary way, and things are changing, and this is a time of revolution. The open wounds, the places where abuse, either from your own judgment or from another person or from society's convoluted rules. This is on us now, cutting into a very deep place. And it puts us in line for healing and for release. And that's what these times are about. It is the, in the perfect order now to recall all the abuse, all the misunderstanding of the past. Don't live in it, see it and let it go. You know, in times that we are isolated, sitting by ourselves, meditating, whatever it is that's taking us into that quiet stillness, we reflect, and we can't help but do that. And we reflect on what was good, we also reflect on what was bad. And we've got to look at it, and then we've got to let it go, and we really can just do it. And it's not about getting into a big deal process, it's just see it and let it go, you see. Doing this, it will unravel the knots that have bound you to the past. Bitterness and guilt and jealousy. These burdens are too heavy for this human journey. We can experience them, but we gotta, we got to move on and make them light. So pack a light bag and move on and don't miss this train. This train is called liberation. The 60s, there was we called flower. It was called flower power. See? All got together, and that was a crack in the door, and where ideas could come in. They did come in, and they were there, and we could see them, and we could learn from them. But they didn't have the force to carry us all the way through like we do now. But dig it. Energy's never lost. It accumulates until the next cycle. Right? What is before us now? is a new way, a 
place where we can focus with our strength because we have it as we make these changes and this opportunity we got to do it man we got a carpe diem man we got to seize it now that is if we want to continue on this road to enlightenment where we fulfill our deepest desires and we move towards the greater good in the tarot the card for luck for good fortune it shows a woman with a beautiful head of hair and it said that this woman is bald-headed in back well the symbology is that if luck or good fortune or opportunity is coming your way you got to grab it by the forelock and bring it to you cuz if you don't if you wait and you hesitate it's going to pass you by and there's nothing to grab on to and then you'll be stuck waiting for the next chance waiting for the merry-go-round to go around again which might not come for a long time so we got to be prepared no matter how difficult things get we got to stay prepared and it's true look we've gone through abuse whether it's emotional or spiritual or physical and it might have been partly what we're feeling from society or personally but now is the time to recognize it forgive yourself and release others release others and be ready to seize all the good news the good stuff that is coming your way you see deliverance it's just beginning now and it's time to contemplate great moves cuz now's the time now's the time to be strong be bold man and take the risk no growth without risk you preserve you perceive that you've been surviving and keeping your head above water well you've done it and you've done it well But now it's a different time and it's going to be in a different way. This is the time that you jump in because this libation, this excitement, it's right there for you. So it's time to trust, jump head first into these opportunities that are coming your way. They might be there, they might be coming, but so if they're there, jump. If not, get ready, man. You ask for it. We all have really. We've asked for liberation, we've asked for change. and we're all working together to make this happen and that's what this is about and that's what we're about right now because we're leaving past influences behind us this come from abuse misunderstanding it's been around us for a long time and it could have been self abuse no matter it doesn't matter no no blame man no guilt it's just moving on with truth with integrity and courage you'll find your situation suddenly changing for the better trust it it's magic you see this is the magic which is your personal power despite the grim picture of total control the corporate media is projecting don't worry man all of us right now we're in the energy of deliverance so act on it and do not doubt it we can change it man and that's what this time is about exercise self love first and then generosity of spirit and replace the burden of the negative thoughts that you've been feeling with loving kindness have compassion for the earth for all her sentient beings with working with what we call gaia mother nature it's going to guide you you got to listen it's scrying in a way that you're releasing your own inner wisdom and look we've heard the call before but now we go for it and we put the words of the ancient oracle into action in our daily activities and our meditation trust is important now we got to trust yourself first because that's what's called for now trust your strength trust your intuition as an incarnated human microcosm and muster all your courage to cut the old knots that have bound you to the stuff that works for you no more the knot may have been uh, in the had it roots in your childhood or it may be from last year it might be from yesterday it could be from a few minutes ago it doesn't matter it's there just know that the past what past the past doesn't exist because all we have is right now we don't have tomorrow we don't have an hour from now we got now and our now is what's going to make the future beautiful we got to fill it with love and compassion and kindness and then it will be and dig it you're going to have to let some things go you might be letting people go 
old ways of working, old ways of being, you know, changing your jobs like millions of people are doing now. We've got to make through it and walk through the change. We're going to be healing old wounds. Love heals, and that's the answer. Love heals, and that's how it will be. More love, less pain. Taking the time to heal. When our souls are feeling pain, we will overcome one day. How about today? I send you love from here at the 20th parallel. People say, how can you send so many people love? How can you really mean it? It's easy. But I do mean it. I send you love. I send you this feeling of service, of light, and of the ancients to come and speak again. You get to do that when you get old, you know? <laughs> you get to speak the old truths. Taking the time to heal. Yeah, we will overcome. Yeah, shake it a little bit. It's just easy. Hey, man, in times of trouble, do not forget to dance. Do not forget to sing. In la kesha la king. I am the other you. And I like it that way. Yes, I do. Namaste, my brothers and sisters. Be part of the revolution. Be part of this work that's going on right now and right in front of us. It's serious. But you still got to dance. Like we say here sometimes, Chingon, man. <laughs> it's good. desire. Teach peace with every step and let the children teach you. <laughs>